Shalom, 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 I'm Israel, giving up praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Hechak, Kedash, Yamaz, the Alza, Jamas, Wu, Wells, I take to you, I my dead, pushing his word, and truth is shit, and risking your freedom and your life to do so, more so now than ever before. Um, because we are in some, um, it's locking for the noise, man, damn Satan, but we are in some, um, real treacherous times, man, um, and, um, prophecy is unfolding like never before. So, would you believe this? The Texas Tribune, 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 um, dot org says, uh, uh, Texas legislator tw 2023, terrified and angry LGBTQ Texans and allies rally at Capitol to protest bills targeting queer community. Now, um, <laughs> If you didn't know, man, um, y'all should go back and um, look at the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mind you, by the way, is ar um, archaeologically pro proven to have been an actual case. Uh, they found sulfite balls, uh, sulfite rocks in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, which by the way, still burns. You can take a sulfite rock, which is the purest form of sulfite found in the world and burn it. And it's up to degrees um, of heat that's not caused by anything that's on earth. So uh, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah and how the Lord overthrew it is an actual event. Keep that in mind when we read this article because we're gonna get this. Let's get on Second Peter 2 and 6. And turning, let's say that, um, Second Peter 2 or 6, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, because Sodom and Gomorrah were known for, uh, you know, the community, the rainbow community, doing those type of acts. Okay, all type of freakisms and, and, and schisms and other isms. All right? And the Most High was angry with that lifestyle, uh, justifiably because, according to the scriptures, you're supposed to be unalive for those acts. Um, but because nobody's doing it and is allowing this to flourish in, in, in Babylon, America, the Most High has uh, something for that. So it says, um, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, literally, you go over there, it's literally a heap of, a land of ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So the way that the Most High, Yahweh, um, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah was supposed to be an example to the nations that if you was to ever live like this um, as a whole, you would go out the same way. So let's continue on. It says, um, let's read that again. Terrified and angry LGBTQ Texans and allies. And I got to really keep it um, PC or politically correct because we are in the land of um, spiritual Sodom to where if you speak out against certain things, your video could be taken down. You can get a strike for it. So I got to kind of keep a keep a lid on how I speak about certain acts. All right. So it says, uh, Texans and allies rally at Capitol to protest bills targeting queer community. With six weeks remaining in the legislative section, advocates implored, employed Texans to join the resistance against fast-moving efforts to curb health care, drag queens, education, trans athletes, and more. Would you believe this, man? Look at this, man. And these people are, are so gone. They don't even understand that. Um, they're going to burn in fire, man. Nuclear missiles. Um, look at this. There's a little boy right here. Look at this. So we ain't making this up, man. Um, it says, um, chance of... Quote, unquote, protect trans kids echoed across the Capitol as hundreds of LGBTQ Texans and their supporters gathered Saturday afternoon to express anger and fear over the slate of rapidly moving bills targeting queer people. The mid-April heat 
match the anger many felt towards Republicans, lawmakers who seek to ban transgender students from playing college sports, queer youth from assessing transition-related health care and other effects to restrict LGBTQ rights. Welcome to the resistance, said Ricardo Martinez, CEO of Equality Texas and LGBTQ advocacy group that organized the march as he implored uh, protesters to do everything in their power to stop the legislation in the final six weeks of the legislative service. All right, so look, let's 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 get this, man. Um, Um, I'm not going to read all of this But um, Genesis 19 is um, Where you can find the story a lot You know And um, you give it a little count um, Of what happened It said um, So it said um, I read a little bit Genesis Let me see where we at Because this is what happened man This is what's going on in Sodom And, And the angel went to go visit Lot Man is going to explain. So this is Genesis 19 and 1. And there came two angels to Sodom at evening, the afternoon. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face towards the ground, showing you that they were angels. And he said, Behold, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house. And tarry all night, wash your feet. And ye shall rise up early and go all your way. And they said, Nay. But we abide in the streets all night, right? Because the angels wanted to watch what was going on in Sodom. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him and entered into the house. And he made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men in the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round about, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the young men which came in be this night bring them out unto us that we may know them they want to have uh of uh carnal relations um with with the angels which were men so the men of Sodom want to have carnal relations relations with the with the with the angels which by the way were sent to spy on their affairs I saw them make more to see if it was really that wicked. So I'm not going to read it all. You know, Lot said uh, he gave his daughters up. They didn't want him. Uh, they, they said, give him up. What are we going to do to Lot? Worse than what they was going to do to the angels. Um, so he blinded them, you know. Um, so, yeah, let's jump down. Verse 12. And the men said unto Lot, has thou here any besides? Uh, son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. For we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law which married his daughters and said, Go up. Uh, said, Up. Get you out of this place for the Lord will destroy the city. But he seemed as one that mocked as one that mocked unto his son-in-law. So his sons-in-law didn't believe him, along with his um his other daughters that married his sons-in-law. His son-in-law. All right? So, you know, roll for it. Da, da, da. They told him not to look back. Right. So, um, right. So let's jump down to the point. Verse 23, so the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered Zoar, so he already escaped. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. Right. And uh, But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt because he was specifically told, don't look back. And, um, 
You see, it said verse 28. And he looked towards Sodom and Gomorrah and towards all the land of the plain. And behold, lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. Right? The most I destroyed it, man. You know? The most I overthrew it, man. And you know why? Because of this, man. This, these acts, these unlawful deeds, and um, and Babylon the Great is about to go up the same way. Isaiah 13, verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, and the beauty of the child, these excellencies should be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, man? It's going to go up in a nuclear missile. They'll save, they'll save the Lord. And we're hoping to, uh, to escape. We're hoping to escape, man. It's gonna go up. It's gonna go up like this, man. You know? That's how it's gonna go out. These nations gonna shoot, shoot these things. Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, look. That's how it's gonna go out, yeah? Like this, yeah? See, he's gonna be guarding the Eden, and then the things are gonna blow up, son. Boom. So with that one, say shalom. Till next time.